beautiful day. Let's get ready. apartment and after getting my own school schedule starting my master soon I figured why not help you guys have a stress-free morning as well as help myself have a stress-free morning with all these classes new campus new city new everything I need some tips myself so let's just get to tip number one Tip number one is get to bed at a decent time. For me, this used to be extremely hard, so there's two things I have for you guys to offer. And that is number one, there is a computer app called Flux, and that changes your screen to take away all the blue light. And so if you're on your computer late at night and you have to be, that kind of helps just not keep you up as long because I know that blue light is supposed to keep you up longer and that's why they tell you to not be on electronics before bed. But if you have to, download that app, it's great. Um, number two, I use sleepy time tea sometimes and that's a great alternative to any kind of like melatonin or NyQuil or ZQuil. So I get like the vanilla flavor and it's really yummy. So that is tip number one guys, get to bed at a decent time. Number two is to prep your breakfast the night before. And that is so easy to do. I love making overnight oats, which you can just make ahead of time, stick in the fridge, and it's ready to go and grab in the morning. Or you can just put everything that you're going to put in your smoothie in a bag, and then just throw it in the blender in the morning and take it to go if you have one of those single serving bullets. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, is just to set your outfit out ahead of time because there's nothing like finding the perfect outfit when you're rushed on time. You feel like nothing fits, at least I do, or nothing looks right. So just plan it ahead of time, pick out what you're gonna wear the night before and that saves so much time and stress. Tip number four goes along with laying out your outfit ahead of time and that is just checking that you have everything you need for class or work. The big bag that I take to class every day, I just look in there and check to make sure I have my folder, my laptop, or my iPad, and everything I could possibly need, any assignments I have due the next day. Make sure that they're already all in the bag and prepared so that I'm not running around like a chicken with its head cut off trying to figure out where everything is the morning of. Tip number five, do you need some extra motivation to work out in the morning before your class or before work? What I do personally is wear my workout clothes to bed. Now that might sound weird, but workout clothes for me are actually pretty comfy. I just wear a sports bra and spandex and it really does help me because if I wake up and my alarm goes off and I'm already in my workout clothes, that makes me that much more willing to get up and get my workout in before heading off to class. Number six, now you might hate me for this one, but put your alarm clock, or my phone is my alarm clock, across the room from wherever your bed is because that way you will not hit the snooze button or turn your alarm off when you're half asleep like I sometimes do. And oh you gosh. won't be stressed That's out when it. you wake up an hour late and oh think, my oh my gosh, I'm already late for class, I need to rush. No, because when your alarm goes off and your alarm is halfway across the room, you will have to get up to turn that alarm off or press the snooze button and you're less likely to press the snooze button if you're already out of bed. Number seven is prep your coffee or make it ahead of time if you like iced coffee. I use my Keurig 2.0 K250 brand and it's so great because it's small so it fits in my apartment, it fits in any dorm, and it's just the one cup K-pod things and so all you have to do is sit it in there and you are ready to go in the morning. All you do is lower the handle and press your cup size and you have a full cup of coffee ready to go already. It's so simple. One cup coffee makers are the way to go. 
And if you like iced coffee, you can even make your coffee in advance the night before and put it in the fridge. And that way it's already chilled, already ready to go for you in the morning. Eight is just starting your morning with something calming, whether that's stretching or yoga, or for me, it's just reading a devotional in the morning. Start your day with something that just is calming to you, relaxing to you, and really gets you in a good mindset. Number nine is leaving ample time to get to school or work on time. That way, you're not rushed, you're not driving like a maniac, or if you're close to campus, you choose to walk and do the healthy choice instead of taking the bus or your car. And number 10, guys, go with an easy hairstyle. I love just throwing my hair up in a messy bun or messy ponytail, and that saves you so much time because I know I don't have more than five minutes to spare in the morning on my hair. So no curling, no straightening, no blow drying or anything. I just throw it up and we are good to go. So I hope you love these tips, whether you are a high school student, college student, or in the work world as an adult, like I kind of am. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up to support it. And if you aren't subscribed already, subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below. Until next time guys, bye. Hey everyone. Tip number one. Hmm, what is tip number one?